Well, the few people that we're still waiting on, they probably won't get this nice introduction, but JJ Gladden with Fishing Education. This is Will. Will Hafner, uh, Pot Latch Nature Center at Cook's Lake. Yep, we both work for Game and Fish. And this is our seminar. We do these every first, uh, second Tuesday. And this week we're gonna do, or month, I guess it's month. We're gonna talk about cooking. So Will and I, we've done a little bit of cooking. You might see some of our videos on the Virtual Nature Center, but we kind of wanted to take a look at the trending uh, cooking gadgets, yeah. if you will. Um, so we're going to start off with a poll, and we're going to let y'all choose ish what uh, cooking gadget we're going to use for our collaborative dish. So Tara's uh, making that happen right now. It's live. Yep, we got. We got yeah, there you go. Sorry, sorry, taking over for you. Uh, we got the, the Instapot. I know that's a big thing right now. It's great for making quick meals, uh, good comfort food. We got an air fryer which another another instrument that's great for making quick meals, healthier meals. And then who doesn't love a griddle? I mean, so much can be done with this. So let's see what y'all think that we're going to cook up on today. We'll give you a few more minutes on that voting. Um, we are leaving everybody muted right now, and we will be taking questions. And we ask that you just put those questions in the chat. And it may be a, a few minutes before we get to it, but if it's in the chat, we shouldn't be able to forget it at that point because we got it written down. So we're getting close to the results and we're gonna give a few more minutes. Um, when I say minutes, I don't know, maybe seconds, 30 seconds, and then we're closing it because we gotta get going. If we use that Instapot, we're gonna have to, uh, I mean, We're going to have to get it in there. It's kind of funny. It's called an Instapot, but it still takes quite a bit of time to, to get everything prepped and ready and get the pressure built. So it, exactly. it does take some time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's a good shortcut for taking a roast from a eight-hour dish, you know, that you have to get prepped in the morning before you go to work to something that you could get home, chop everything up, throw it in there, and you can have a, a nice roast in an hour, hour and a oh, half. Oh, yeah. Hour. You got a nice roast, nice stew. Okay. How many fish dishes have you put in there? Man. I can't even count on one hand how many I've put in there. So Woo! We'll That's a got. lot. That's a lot. We ready? We're ready. Let's hit it. Right. What are we going to do? Okay. Okay. Give us a second kind of thing. All right. We get our collaborations here together. We can pull that off in... 20 minutes. Okay. I say you've done fishing. Okay. Yep. Let's go ahead and Let's get knocked it. out. Okay. All right. Tell me what you need. I'll help you get started. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make in our instant pot, we're going to make a fish chowder. Oh boy. <laughs> I know. I know. Fish chowder. New England. Uh, it's, it's fall. Okay. I think of fall. I think of soups. Uh, we've done so many different things with fish, so let's do something a little bit different. Uh, for our fish, for this dish, we're going to use freshwater drum. Uh, okay. Don't really think what a vegetables about you need? Uh, let's go ahead. Let's get some potatoes cut up. Okay. Uh, some onions. We're going to okay. need some carrots and some corn. I see all that up there. So work on that. I'll get the drum. Uh, but the thing about the drum, it's a firm fish. Uh, when you think of chowders, you think of like either. an onion but um that's one thing about the instapot you get everything in there you cut it up at a uniform size and you let the instapot do the work for you so what do you think will a uh, a big dice on these onions oh uh, let's go that's pretty good that's pretty good about yeah. like that okay all right uh we're gonna want to put some fat of some sort in our instapot so we're gonna go with butter and we're gonna get that going in there we're going to go ahead and set it on the meat setting right now. That way it starts heating up. Yeah. So it's kind of like the, 
the cedar. Everyone's a little bit different, so just go with uh, whatever your directions tell you to do. Uh, like I said, every instant pot's a little bit different, but they're all built on the same concept. Uh, you're building pressure, you're steaming real fast. So I'll throw in some butter, got it kind of warming up. We'll go with the meat setting for now. That's kind of the sear saute on this one. There we go. I got have some garlic and carrots. You want those in there, right? Yep, we'll go ahead. I'm we'll gonna give you there. half a purple onion. Oh, the color would be yeah. great. We need color in there because uh, chowder is kind of a one color dish. So. Uh, give it a few pops of color where we can. Right, river drum fillets. Uh, a lot of people think of drum as not being that palatable of a fish, but it is a firm, mild fish, and it will work great for this. Also works good blackened. So we'll go ahead and put a little just seafood seasoning on, season it up a little bit. All right, Will. What are you thinking about for your other dish? Ooh. You're going to do something. Oh, wait a minute. This is your dish. I, let's talk about our collab here. Yeah, what are we going to do on our, our collab? That's, that's what we need to figure out. Um, all right, so it's catfish and it's griddled. It's griddled, which is easy. Yeah. That'll be good. I'm saying. Um, it almost sounds like blackened. I'm going to fancy it up. Okay because I like a little fresh vegetable, stuff like that in there. Yep. So we can do some vegetables, maybe some of these potatoes, or maybe, I think I saw a sweet potato over there. Uh -huh. So we, potatoes, yeah, yeah. we'll do like a little elevated dish. We're doing a little comfort food with this Instapot for you. Yeah. We'll go a um, little well, elevated on this uh, collaborative situation. I'm going to go ahead and take some of your vegetables from it. Oh, I, I've been talking too much. All right. Go ahead and get that going. Oh, Catch them. Dice them. Dice them. Dice. Oh. Well, That's okay. Yeah. Well, we'll take some big carrots. Yeah. You you want it a little bit smaller? Dang. That'd be all right. Here, let me come in half. Lay them down there. No. Oh, it's all, all right. right. Take it's all right. It. Take it. We hope. How much garlic? One clove? Ah, uh, yeah, so clove or two of garlic. Only grab one. Okay, let's go with one clove of garlic. I mean, they're closer to you than me right now. Oh, you mean both? No. Yeah. Oh, clove. Oh, see, we would have screwed that all up. We'll there. go ahead and add some seasoning on into our, our chowder. Uh, when you think of chowder, you think New England, and it's hard to beat Old Bay. Give you the smell of comfort. You know, Will, we're sitting here working so hard on your dish. And we're not really, uh, we've got a collab dish. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what, well, you got that air fryer there. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that's the beauty. Something with it. Yeah, here in a few minutes, once you uh, seal off that Instapot, we're not going to have to worry about that anymore so i'll let you handle some griddling or okay. may teach you how to use an air fryer do you even have an air fryer will man i i don't have an air fryer but that's one thing uh, i really like to learn more so i'm kind of looking forward to seeing well it. i'll let you be my sous chef on that you can do all the vegetable chopping works for me how many potatoes as many that's as i can cut until you come back over here right there. all right uh i'm taking some of your time I mean, literally and figuratively, but I guess. Yeah, not even cooking anything for myself yet. No, but we've got a couple sprigs of thyme. We're going to go ahead and go in there with All right. herby and aromatic. Here you are, kind sir. Come All right, on. thank you very much. Yeah. Man, can you smell that already? It does smell good, Ooh. I'm not going to lie. We'll see what it smells like once it comes out on the other end. Have we worked out that smell of vision yet? <laughs> smell of vision all right so you've got your fish cut up for that yeah, i've got my fish cut up kind of just sauteing a little bit on the vegetables uh we're going to go ahead we need some some liquid in here that's one thing for one it's going to be a like a stew i mean a chowder so you're going to have to have liquid plus that's the thing about a pressure cooker you have to have liquid to build pressure 
Uh, we're going to go with some chicken broth. You could make a, a fish broth. I'm going to go with a of chicken broth. We've also got to make it a little more uh, seafoodish. We got some clam sauce. Give it that authentic smell, flavor. Just remember, you can kind of you. Use whatever you got on hand. Uh, there's all sorts of different types of the clam juices and clam sauces out there. Whatever you can find that you like, that's the best one to go with. Sometimes it's hard to find different things in our stores around here. But we'll go in with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. good. It's going to be good, Will. All right. So, you know, I've complained enough about you having a set it and forget it kind of dish that, yeah, I'm going to use that air fryer and we're going to take some bass fillets. I've actually got two bass fillets and two crappie fillets here. I'm going to bread those up, stick them in the air fryer, buy myself a little bit more time to focus on this collab dish with the griddle. Um, I use an air fryer a lot at home. Um, not always for fish. It is a very versatile cooking utensil. I personally love to put bacon in it because if you cook bacon, which I mean, I assume lots of people have cooked bacon because it's delicious. You can literally throw that bacon in there, set it for 10, 12 minutes, and go on getting ready with your morning. Come back, you got delicious crispy bacon waiting on you. It's going to be the same principle here. I'm going to bread these fillets, put them in there, and then work on what we're going to do with those. So a lot of people maybe are intimidated by one of those fryers or going out and grill or uh, frying on your patio or carport, something like that. I've done quite a bit of fried fish in the air fryer. It's pretty good. There's a few tips in there that um, you, oh, mm -hmm. you got some corn to go in there. This is going to be good. Some low um, sweet corn. A few tips on this that I'll uh, talk to you about along the way, but you can really get a fried fish taste out of an air fryer and not intimidating at all. So let's see what we got to bread this with. What's that one? Yeah, yeah I, you know, I have never seen the air fryer specific breading. So I got it. I saw it at the store. I got it. I've always used make it myself, another pre package. I'm going to assume that both work really good. But I may do one fish in one, one fish in the other, and we'll be the judges on whether it's better to get the air fryer specific uh, breading. Right here is one of my secrets on the air fryer. If you want to get that crisp fish, because who, who wants soggy fish, right? Right. Get a light little spray with uh, some cooking spray. It doesn't have to be canola, but... Okay. Uh, give it a little bit of spray. It helps get that Christmas, and that's what we really want anyway. So, all right. One tip on cooking anything, but especially fish or any meat, you want to have uniform pieces so that it all cooks at the same speed. So, as you can tell here, we've got two larger bass fillets, these crappie fillets are a little bit smaller. We want them to cook at the same speed, so we're gonna to need to cut down these bass fillets. So I'm gonna cut right down where that lateral line is. That gets us a lot closer with this crappie fillet and may just take that right in half there. And we've got uniform pieces of fish. We will dry it off a little bit, shake it up in some breading, put it in the air fryer, and well, what are you doing with that piece of bread? Uh, Nothing? Hey. Anything? You got a plan? I want to make a sandwich. A little po' boy sandwich? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Be a good idea. Okay. All right. I'm going to dry these up, hit them with a little bit of, what do I got? What do I got? Seafood seasoning? I mean, that, that sounds... Could be good. 
Give it a little bit, just a little bit. And get them in the air fryer and move on to something else. Oh, hey, how about we, uh, when it gets time, we toast that bread up on the, the griddle. That'd probably be a good choice. I like that. Toast it up. Um, yeah. Yeah. We could even. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like it. Go with it. Go ahead and get that grill going for us, though, Will, since right. you're doing nothing, since you've already sealed off the Instapot. Yeah, I mean. You're done for the next, how many, 30 minutes? Yeah. That's the nice thing about it, man. Go sit back and relax and watch you cook. Wow. Yeah. So I'm just doing a little bit of light seasoning on there. We will, let's say, these bass pieces. Can be, yeah. All right. So we're going to do half and half, half air fryer, half. What is this? New Orleans season. So we got any lettuce? What's uh, happening? Are you good? You know, I don't know if we have any lettuce. But we did that barbecue the other day, and there's some slaw in there we could use. Yeah. We can make up a slaw that I kind of like to do that on po' boys sometimes instead of just going for lettuce. Yep. Change up a little. A little bit. Make a uh, like a roumelade yeah. type Sounds flavor good. on yeah. that. I don't know. Uh, all right. So we're going to bread these up. You can either put it in a tub like this. There's actually a commercial breader up there, but we don't really need that much uh, breading. Or you could simply put this in a zip top bag, seal it up real nice because you do not want to shake it if it's not sealed up tight. You'll have flour and cornmeal everywhere. But just sit it in here. We'll shake. I know the cameraman is loving me walking around all the time. be good might as well give us our a little bit we don't want it to stick i'm mean, still a little bit of your bread i think some little rounds with toasting them up that go good with the, the chowder okay i mean just keep stealing stuff will that's fine just a light little coating on there And let's flip to this other breading for the bass fillets. You know, Tara, why don't you, uh, I, Tara doesn't have to do it. Um, so how many people that are watching tonight have actually used an air fryer to fry fish? Let's see if we got any people in there. Oh, this is a little bit coarser, Will. That other's kind of fine. Oh, yeah. Probably a little panko. Yep. yep. Make a little more crispy. Okay. So, if we've got any air fried pros in the crowd tonight. Up here. Yeah, we need that. Uh, I like it to be super hot. Okay. But I actually, we got that dome there to help us with our. Uh, vegetables or especially if we're going to put potatoes on there they'll need a little bit more uh oh got to spray this one will all right so we're learning i was hoping that i wasn't doing it wrong what else do you like to do in an air fryer Judge? air fryer let's see um well, it's supposed to be healthy, right? So I should talk about the healthy recipes instead of just talking about uh, cooking bacon in there, right? Right, right. I mean, but nothing's better than bacon. Well, that's that's kind of true. Um, let's see. I, I've done chicken in there. I've done hot wings in there. Um, like I do breakfast in there, like a uh, like if you do a, a egg or a muffin cup, something like that. I mean, it really does take something that you would normally put in a microwave and it comes out just kind of blah. 
kind of soggy. Like if you put one of those, uh, well, Jimmy Dean uh, Chris sandwiches or something in the microwave, it's going to be soggy in 10 seconds. Uh, you put it in an air fryer and it's going to, it's going to give you that crispy okay. flavor. It's going to, it's going to give you texture. Like, right. let's be honest, instead of it just being all kind of one note. So there's preset uh, settings here. We're going to go with the fish, which is uh, 390 for 15 minutes. Oh no. Oh no. It's already off. It's done. It's done. It's done. Okay. Um, we're probably going to look at that about halfway through, maybe right. turn it over so that you can get that crispy texture on both sides if it's not getting great circulation. If you don't hit the power button, it just starts going. But if you hit it, it turns it off. So tell me what you're doing. Now done. we're checking our, uh, oh, we're done. Uh, check no, our, that's me. our Instapod. We have not built pressure yet, but it's getting there. Uh, that's one thing that takes a little bit of time is, is building the pressure. Uh, if you start with hot liquids, that will help you build your pressure a little bit faster. But it's All cooking. Right. We're cooking there. We're cooking. We're cooking. Let's actually do something where people let's, can see it. Let's actually do some more cooking. All right. Catfish was the choice, correct? Correct. All right. Probably don't need any more of this half and half. Mm, no, since I'm putting that in the fridge for you. Let's see. Got some catfish fillets in there. We do have... Some catfish fillet. Huh? I should probably turn to the camera. You know, they really like seeing me like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mayonnaise as well right. and the coleslaw so that can start. We can get that going here in a second. Uh, you want it on yours? Sure. Yeah, do some work, Will. I'll do some work. What do we want to do? Right. Blackening anything? Or yeah. we got some, we, well, we can make up our own. Uh, we got some smoked paprika. We got some other different uh, spices here. So if you don't have a, a blackening seasoning you like or don't have one on hand, you can make your own. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of make up our own right now. The thing about the paprika, uh, sometimes it doesn't give a whole lot of flavor. That's why I like the smoked paprika. It gives a more robust flavor. But also, that's what gives it that dark car caramelized color. Uh, if you don't go with something that's like the paprika, it's going to look bland. That's where you get that blackening from is from the paprika. So we'll go with some of that. That hurt to have a little seasoning salt, some garlic, a whole little bit of onion, of course, some black pepper. Okay. So, all right, season that up. It's fall. Let's uh, let's take these sweet potatoes. Maybe just one. Let's take this one. I like that a little bit more. And. Let's get some vegetables in here. All right, I got two kinds of peppers here. You want a bell pepper or you want a jalapeno pepper? Oh, uh, is this going to go with our, our fish? Yeah, it's going to go in the vegetable medley. The bell is probably going to go better in this situation. All right. And I've got some onion left over. So... We'll focus on your fish over there and I'll cut up some more vegetables. That seems to be what I do tonight. Hey, right, everybody's got to have a great sous chef. I'm glad I could be yours. Air fryer's rolling. We should be good on the Instapot still. Okay. If you feel good about it, I'm going to let you uh, making keep some uh, sweet potato hash to go with our catfish. I uh, would want some. Uh, want some I, I'll get those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want? Uh, what do you think? What do you want me to do over here for you? Well, I'm going to throw that butt piece out of the uh, sweet potato. Let's go ahead and get the sweet potatoes going. Okay. What do you want to season it with? We got anything? Might not hurt to throw a little bacon down first. Get some bacon grease. Then, hey, then we can turn around and use that bacon to top off the chowder. You know what? That's a great way. To, work together. to get there, you know, this collab thing. Hey, what did we learn? Uh, always test your stuff beforehand, and when you're cooking live, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, and so, you, thank you all for bearing with us. Yeah, don't put uh, yeah. don't put these gadgets on the same plug in, is what I learned. All right, oh, that makes me feel better already. 
with bacon, sizzle bacon, from bacon. bacon. And there we go. And what we have here on this griddle, this is not a, a technical griddle. It's just a griddle top on a camp cooker. So if we wanted to, we could have pulled this griddle off and thrown a skillet or a Dutch oven or anything like that on there. And we would have been fine with no power. It would just taken us a little bit more than an hour to get all that rolling for us. So okay. you think that's enough bacon? Uh, it'll be enough. Okay, okay, fine. I'll do two more pieces. Okay. All right. So we'll get that bacon on there. That's going to add some flavor. A little grease. Yeah, we're getting some grease out of this. It's probably going to save your chowder, let's be honest. You have little faith in my chowder. <laughs> You're saying I have any faith in your chowder. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll yep. get a little bit of grease going here. Got just enough already that I can. Yeah, get you some grease. You know, I'm going to get this slaw going because we're going to want that to kind of uh, soften. We probably don't need a ton, right? How many sandwiches are we making? Oh, we've only got a few pieces, so. Yeah. We'll make one good sandwich. All right. So what are you doing in your slaw? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go mayonnaise for sure, right? What else do we want in there? Mayonnaise, mm -hmm. some. A little sour cream. Okay. We got some hot sauce up there. Yeah, I want some spice. I mean, if we're making a po' boy, we want to have a little bit of uh, Cajun seasoning in there, right? That's right. See how many of these I can drop on the floor? Man, it's like that uh, cutting board's nailed to the table over there. I know. You know, something, I use a uh, grill at home quite a bit. And one thing to take a uh, hearty vegetable like a potato down the road a little bit faster because that fish is going to take five, six minutes to cook. The potatoes probably need 15. We're going to kick that up a notch with that dome right there. It's going to give you a more even cook, kind of like you're putting a lid on a skillet. But you can do that on a griddle just the same. It's the same principle. Uh, a little bit down the road, squirt a little bit of water under there, get a little steam going. But you can always crisp it back up on a griddle because it's such a super hot cooking vessel. What do you want to season this with? Ooh. You know, I'm going to go dealer's choice there for you. All right, well, I've got some seasoned salt in my hand, so we're going to start with that. Okay. How are we on the uh, air fryer? We had our eight minutes or so yet? Well, I'm glad you said that because it said nine, so as soon as I stir this in, we will take a little peek in there. A little hot sauce. I want some hot sauce. Just making all these trips up here to this uh, fancy table. And black pepper. I got to have black pepper. Look at that bacon. Looking good. I love it. You know, we've got several different cooking videos on the Virtual Nature Center. But I don't know if we've ever done really any of these just like this, though. Have we? No, we, I know we haven't used uh, Instapot or an air fryer, no, especially on the same outlet. <laughs> well, I know there is a, a fish po' boy on there that looks really good. Yeah, uh, we, we did that one with white bass, I believe. That's right. Uh, what else have we done? I know we've had all sorts. Man. I mean, don't forget last year when I, I brought the heat and the fire. I mean, that wasn't on, I mean, that was on the live. Hopefully we don't have that happen tonight, but that was good. That was the uh, what, black and drum with. Black and drum, yeah. And uh, you did some rice. I mean, yeah. I call it rice. What do you call it? Was uh, it? I did some rice, did a, a shrimp etouffee. There we go. Yeah, it was an etouffee, which means over rice. I mean, I don't know if you knew that. You are really, really helping me out today. Well. I'm learning so much from cooking with you. <laughs> Man, uh, you know, I'd say I was learning something from you, but all I've learned is how much power that Instapot takes. 
because I've never thrown a breaker with that air fryer. Ah, what All happens right. when we collaborate? Slaw's going in the fridge. I'm going to cut up some squash. You need to get that bacon out of there. Oh, well, do you have me a vessel for it? Oh, go find your own vessel. I'm going to go and sit, uh, cut up some some squash here. So, all right, we got cubes of sweet potato. I'm going to do some strips, thin strips on the squash, and just kind of uh, sear that off. We're probably on a quarter inch on our squash. And all we're, we're wanting to leave the, uh, the bite to the vegetable. We don't want it to get all soggy and stuff. That's, uh, that's gross. Nobody wants soggy vegetables, right? Want it to be fresh so that it kind of uh, has that fancy restaurant feel, right? Right. Yeah. We like to be fancy. We do like to be fancy like that. <laughs> and really, I'd say the fish is probably the last thing to go on. Yeah. So we've got about 15 minutes left, so we still got a little bit of time. Yep. Hey, it's time to check the yep. fish. Let's see what we got here. How are we looking? I mean, I see white fish in here. Yeah. It's pretty flaky. Oh no. Okay. I may flip it. I may flip it. We are. Uh, you got tongs for me? Yeah, I need a, something metal here. I've got. Got gotcha. you. Got an issue here. Die, are you in on the fish? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that it would have been okay because we didn't overcrowd our air fryer, but you can see that that bottom there is already getting some of that golden brown that we're looking for. So just trying to ensure that even cooking. Yeah, that crappie's a little bit more delicate than the bass. That's okay. Now we got bass on the bottom. Oh, that's looking good. That, dude. I may be sold on the air fryer seasoning. We're just going to have to see how it tastes. It looks crispy. I mean, I can tell it looks crispy from here. Yep. So six minutes. I'm going to give it another little bump here. We're going to go eight minutes. Sorry to steal your tongs oh, there, buddy. Fine. You're good. You're yeah, use that, uh, that big spatula there. That's going to help you. Always pay attention when you're using your griddles like this where your, your grease is going. Yep. So we're getting that char on there, which is what we're looking for. How tender are they, Will? Probably need another few. Oh, yeah. Right. We're we'll going to go ahead and bump it with that water. Like yeah, you about. absolutely. Smart move. And also, I mean, we got some butter here, too. I mean, oh, I like butter. Butter, bacon, the bees, they make everything better. You know, there's a third bee in there. Bass? Oh, yeah, bass. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. What an ice cold beverage, I promise you that. Cut. So you're about to have that bacon out of the way. Oh, yeah. Boom. All right, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Seal it off real nice. Some bacon. What else do we need? You feel good about your Instapot? Uh, we're not even going to look at it. I don't think we're going to really have much choice. Okay, well, it's 20 minutes. Instapots, I mean, they're not like the, the old pressure cookers that you really have to worry about popping a top. Uh, these do make it safe, make it easy to use in the house. I mean, like right now, I'm twisting as much as I can. I, I can't pull this off. And I can pick up the whole whole pot. It's not going to pop off. So we're good there. we got about three minutes left on here. Uh, and then we'll just kind of let it sit and see what we've got. Uh, we got to get our fish cooked. We got to go ahead and we can get our our bread toasted up. Too. Yeah, I forgot about the bread. Yep. What else do we need on this po' boy? I mean, I feel like I've kind of set it and forget it, and that's not necessarily my style. Um, you're gonna toast the bread for it, or are you toasting the bread for your oh, chowder? There we go. Good bacon grease soaked Ooh, bread. I love it. I mean, that just 
so many layers of flavor here. I mean, I, I cannot wait to try this. You know, and minus technical difficulty with a little power failure, we've done this in basically 30 minutes. No real, you know, no real heavy lifting. I mean, it's pretty simple techniques. So we're gonna we're gonna sear off this fish on the blacktop here or griddle. Um, but we could just as easily have taken our. Did you use black and seasoning on that? Is that what you went with? On the I made my own little homemade black okay. seasoning on that catfish. But you could do the same. You could put that on the sandwich if you didn't want to have a, a fried sandwich. You could just simply use that. You could take that and put it on a taco. Like you could do any of that. And honestly, you could do it in a skillet inside. Yeah. You don't have to do it on a flat top or a griddle, anything like that. So it's, it's pretty very versatile. Yeah. It's super versatile. I mean, it might be, uh, you know, they say that pork's the other white meat, but I think that fish really should be standing in there pretty tall because pork, yeah. It's all right. It's not as readily available as fish is. And fish is, I mean, we have so many opportunities for fishing in the natural state. I mean, fish is so abundant, can be caught year round. Uh, it's just a great way to get out with family and friends and enjoy the outdoors. So then you get to enjoy really good meals too. Exactly. Because, I mean, that's, that's oh, the other good. side of it. Oh, that's nice and toasty. But it's all about enjoying time with friends and family. Right. I mean, let's be honest about it. Food, friends, family, fishing. I mean, wow. The alliteration tonight is off the charts. All right. If you'll get this bread out of the way, I don't okay, know. Is it okay. ready? Oh, is it ready? It's going to be all right. All right. Let me, you think we got enough uh, fat on there from the bacon grease still, or do we need to supplement a little bit? We may need a little butter. I got a little butter here. You got a little oil. Oh, butter. yeah. I got a little oil. I like to, to make sure that you've got whatever fat that is that you that you're using whether it be bacon grease butter vegetable oil you want to make sure that your your flat top is clean oh, it's on. that's why you got this little trough to drag stuff down here you want to make sure that it's clean you need that stirred you want me to... oh yeah a flip. There you yeah go. all right so to finish these off before we start talking about these vegetables over here um you took, go ahead and leave that dome off because now you can tell that we're already soft on our uh, sweet potato here, but we want that, we've got a little bit of color, but we want to make sure that we have that crunch. So we're going to spread them out so that they're not sweating together anymore. And we're going to try to add a little bit of crunch back in there. What's our temp here, Will? Howard. Pretty, pretty hot? Yeah. All right. Bump her up a little. Okay, I'll bump her a little. We're gonna lay this squash on here, a little zucchini. I talked down to Will about saying this wasn't nailed to the table and here I am stretching. I don't know, always pick on me. I know, I, I can't help it, buddy. That's the best part about cooking together. I mean, it, it really is about the camaraderie and all the way from the fishing aspect down to the cooking and eating. I mean, that's, that's the best part about fishing and friends and food and bass and butter and bacon right that's right that's right all right so we're going to kind of take these sweet potatoes off to the side a little bit we've got just enough room here in the middle that i think we can get that fish on here in a second okay so what else do we need do we want We got some lemons up there. We got anywhere to put a lemon? Maybe not today. We don't have to throw everything that we have at this. I promise. We didn't know what we were going to end up cooking, so we wanted to be ready. That's true. That's true. I'm just trying to think it through, but I don't want that fish done too soon. Tara, we got any questions over there while I uh, ponder the the finer points of life? No questions. We're doing that well, or they just feel so sorry for us because uh, of technical difficulties. There's got to be some questions out there. There's got to be some questions. Okay, we're uh, we're wrapping up on this collab dish with the griddle. Looking good. You know, good. we talked about the versatility of doing fish like this. I mean, really. 
you take these squash and zucchini out of the way. Right. You're warming up some tortillas over here. You're right back into that fish taco. Uh, you could be charring corn over here yeah. for a topping or something like that. Um, I mean, it, it really is. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be all pancakes and stuff like that oh. on a griddle or oh. bacon. We're back to the bacon again. Hey, it works good for a, sticking with wild game. If you take a, a deer, take a venison backstrap, uh, season Absolutely. it up, put it on here, cook it to medium, medium rare. Whew. That, I mean, that's great. And you can do that camping. How many good camping meals like that could you have? I mean, wild game, camping, on griddle, it's hard to beat. Absolutely. I'm not taking uh, either one of these camping with me, but right here uh, with one of these cookers, I mean, that's all you really need. You can you can handle every meal that you do right off of one right. one unit. So, so versatile. So versatile. Still no questions? Morgan, what's your favorite question? I, I want to hear something. I, as uh, the youngest person here tonight, let's let's hear what uh, cooking questions you have. I mean, why, why, Microwave's ready. Something's ready. Why the air fryer? I mean, I got this great gift from my coworkers. Uh, it's called the Ninja Foodie. That is a uh, Instapot air fryer. It's oh, yeah. Why didn't we just use that tonight? That would have been one last thing plugged in. Why? No, it's not filled up. Um, I mean, is the air fryer just good for all around? Really? Yeah. 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 I mean, the the crazy thing is that there are just I mean, do people even use cookbooks anymore? Will I don't know, but there are cookbooks, there are websites just dedicated to all the things that you can do in an air fryer alone. And I mean, if you've got something that does you know, Instapot cooking. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And the thing is you set it in there, you press a couple of buttons and it's going to take care of it for you. Um, this is pretty crispy. Will it looks crispy. Uh, I'm anxious to see. You want to go ahead. You want your, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it sit there for just a second. Stay warm in the air fryer. Make sure we don't need to turn anything. You got some bread. We got slaw. I got a plate. Awesome. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Huh? You keep an eye on our fish, buddy. I'm watching it. All right. See what else I can mess up tonight. Well, if you can't do it, nobody can. All right. All right. So, got our nice toasted bread. Let's see if I can block the shot for you there, Mark. We got to leave one in there for our official uh, taste test. So you probably can't see anything there. Uh, Will, you want to get that coleslaw out for me now? Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and go to this table for you, Mark. So crispy, cooked. That slaw looks and smells delicious. Yeah, hopefully it tastes as good as it looks, Will. A little bit of uh, slaw on top. Traditional po' boy would have been a tomato and some lettuce or something, right? This looks way better. All right, so we got one dish done. I feel good about that. Looks good. It looks good. Uh, and then you can take your air fryer, uh, cut you up some potatoes, make some french fries to go with it. That's true. That's true. That'd be a good side. We did have one uh, tray left, so we could have put something underneath. Yeah. You so. still, just like with a oh, a frying pan, you still don't want to overcrowd your air fryer, though. Uh, it won't cook as evenly. It won't get your food cooked quickly and uh, crisp. So yeah. you still don't want to load it all the way every tray. Yeah, I mean, it's just like I was talking about those potatoes there. You know, y'all didn't tune in to talk about cooking potatoes on a griddle, but we spread them back out to make sure that they didn't, you know, just stay together and get kind of mushy. It's the same thing when you're frying or anything else. You don't get that all around heat if everything's crowded on top of each other. So spread it out. I think that may be why the griddle is so popular is because you kind of spread things out and uh, everything gets a lot of heat. Right. And it's evaporating that moisture off of there. All right, let's see what we've got going here. It's the pot time. It's, pot. it's gone off. Uh, now we need to release the pressure. You want to be careful here. 
Oh, oh. Ah. It's just releasing the pressure. That way we can go ahead and take the lid off of it. Shouldn't take too long. You can do this inside your house. It's it's not an issue. It's so, come a long way. Yeah, I, I was just to say, the only thing I know about a pressure cooker is uh, like, you know, canning and stuff like that. Or, you know, back in the day when we used to have pressure cooker fried chicken. But I don't think that's the same situation here. No, and these are these are also. I mean, we're talking about versatility tonight. These are so versatile for many different things too. So. That's true. That's true. Uh, cook rice in just a couple of minutes. Make a good stew, soup, chili. How's everything looking over there? Oh, I'm just making sure nothing's stuck, buddy. I don't want to take away from this uh, this uh, shot of you opening the lid, but I don't know if you're ever going to open it. Takes, takes no. a little bit of time. Yeah, well, luckily, riddles don't take that long. And I think that I can go ahead and make us a nice little plate here. Okay. You're still in my thunder. I mean, you're, uh, nobody tuned in. Nobody tuned in for potatoes. They definitely didn't tune in to see a bunch of steam coming out of a pot. So we're going to put a little bit of the zucchini down. It's gonna be like good. It's gonna be place. good. I mean, I don't, I don't know how restaurant quality that is if I don't put a little lemon on it. But I mean, with a little bit more uh, care, we might have this uh, looking like a very fancy restaurant style dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on our display table up here. Just waiting for a bowl of soup over there. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. It's a little bit thin, so one way to thicken it up, just some instant potatoes. Right at the very end here. Uh, I really like to measure about a, a dash, dash and a half, maybe two dashes. Have we measured anything? Another quarter. That's measuring, right? That's the way I measure. We're not baking, Will. We don't have to measure. That's why I don't like to bake. Oh, this is looking great, JJ. Is it looking good? Yes, I'm feeling good. It's looking good. I can't wait for you to taste this. Whew. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. Why would you be nervous with something I've cooked? Yeah, that's a valid point, right, Will? All right. How's, how's your potato flakes going? Uh -huh. We still need to thicken just a hair more. Just a little bit more. We still don't have any questions. Did I answer your question about the air fryer, Morgan? Yes. Okay. I love it. It's the best. While we're waiting on that thickening, Will, I'm about to see what this is all about. Is that the air fryer seasoning? Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks like fried fish from here. I mean, white flaky on the inside, crispy. Yeah. I can live with that. That's pretty good. And to me, this smells like chowder absolutely all right you have a bowl for me of course i've got a bowl here for you buddy go ahead and serve this up make sure you get some good pieces of that that drum i forgot we used drum that's great i march to the beat of my own drum i guess How big of a bowl do you want? Oh, fill it to the top, brother. How could we not? And don't forget we got that bacon over here. Oh, that's going to save it. You got a point there. This is pretty warm. Am I going to burn my mouth, Will? Oh, yeah. Well, let's. I don't want it then. All right. You put the bacon on? Oh, look at that. All right, let's 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 get up here and let's take a look at it. We got five minutes left in this. I mean, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Uh, it's not that good. 
<laughs> no, well, it we looks don't know. Great. It looks we don't great. know. It smells good. I'm letting that cool off though. I'm not. I'm not tasting it just yet. You want to cut this uh, sandwich in half here? Right, here you go. Whoa! I don't know if a butter knife's going to do it, man. That air fryer cooked that fish nice and tender. It should go ahead and go right on in. Yeah, it's that bread I'm worried about. Would you get this off the day old rack? Hey, you gotta always be looking for deals. All right. I won't touch yours. I mean, no telling where my hands have been, right? But let's see if this is a uh, what you would find as a quality po' boy sandwich. All right. <laughs> Pretty good. That's good. That's good. Who'd have thought? Air fryer. I've had way worse think. in a restaurant, I can tell you that. Wait, this is this one you know is good. I'm going back for a second bite. Hmm. Well, I'm saving a, a little bit of room for that chowder there, but let's see if we did any good on these sweet potatoes. Cooked all the way through. Oh, I got my own plate? Yeah, you got your own plate. The fish, flaky. Mm -hmm. Very good. You made that seasoning yourself? I did. Good job. See, you don't always have to. Good. Buy a seasoning that's put together at the store. You take some of the stuff that you got in your own pantry, make your own seasoning. Let's get some vegetables in, you know. My mom said I had to eat all my vegetables, so. That's why I cook less vegetables for me. Mm. That's good, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Still no questions? All right. We've obviously done such a fantastic job that nobody has any questions. Or they've all been knocked off when the power got knocked off. That's true, too. No. Um, if anybody wants to replicate any of these recipes, we are going to send out the recipes once we figure out <laughs> what we did. We can watch the tape. It'll sure. be great. We'll send out those recipes um, in the in the next week or so. Oh, don't dive in there yet. I'm not, I'm not ready. Um, we do appreciate everybody tuning in. Hopefully, this made you a little bit more comfortable in cooking some of these fish dishes for yourself and you know if you enjoy eating fish maybe that gets you out there fishing a little bit more and keeping your catch right. because that's important as well and last month y'all taught how to clean them right exactly so, so they want you to eat the oh i knew it's coming i'm gonna let you go they, first. they want me to no forget I, it same time let's do this well, I, I have enjoyed today cooking I, with you. Yeah, I have to. Make, I, hey, make sure you get a big piece of that drum there. Oh, I've got drum, don't I? Oh, give me a big piece, yeah. What, that, well, no, there's some right there. Get out, of my, get out of my way. We got to get the bacon, too. Uh, I can't get everything in one bite. Here we go. Hey, you're, It's going to uh, be hot. We got to wait a second. Are we sure there's no more questions? <laughs> All right, so we're out of time now. No, we're next time. it's going to be good. It smells good. It's going to be good. Uh, next month, we're going to be doing a panel discussion about trout fishing. Okay. I think we might have a social media influencer on that. Oh. I'm not going to spoil anything, but keep an eye on your emails and Facebook for us to uh, let you know what's going on with that. Okay. We ready? Oh, boy. Here we go. Lord, help me. Oh. Not on the tablecloth. Mm -hmm. but, you know? It's really not. It's really not bad at all. Um, I was skeptical, as we we definitely seen. That's not bad. No, it's hearty. Yep. It reminds me of fall mm -hmm. fishing, food, family. It all turned out good. How do you just throw stuff together into a pot? You literally just threw the kitchen sink into a pot, turn the lid, and press the button. That's the best thing about an Instapot. You just throw it together, and it turns out. Well. Uh, I'm impressed. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Look for those follow-up emails. Keep an eye on the event manager where we're posting all of the classes across the agency. You can find something in your hometown or something else that might be virtual. So thank you once again and, and cook it. <laughs>